Have you ever wondered what holds people back or what's holding you back? Well, today what I'm going to do is I'm going to share with you my beliefs and my story about what is holding you back. Hey, if you've never been here before, my name is Mark Nelson. I am a former public school teacher, taught middle school, high school kids. And I became a coach as I transitioned out of my teaching. It was just a natural transition because guess what? As a teacher for 25 plus years, I was coaching all those years, especially the latter years when I was coaching high school kids, inner city high school kids. But let me tell you what holds people back. See, I started an online business when I became a teacher. And we didn't make much money. We're living check to check. And I just thought I needed to do a side hustle. And I was doing okay, but it was like I couldn't get it off the ground. I couldn't figure out why. You know, and, it, and people kept telling me, well, I need to do videos. And I thought, ooh, do a video. But I, I just, there's always something hanging on there. And what was interesting, I didn't really understand it until I started working with a coach. And if you don't have a coach, I suggest you get one. If you're, especially if you're in business, the most successful people have coaches, athletes, actors, business people, hire coaches. If you don't have one, I would suggest you get one. But let me talk to you about what holds you back. See, I didn't even know this was happening to me. But growing up, as in most families, I had siblings. I shouldn't say as most families, but my siblings in my family, I had big dreams. I was a big dreamer. They used to laugh at me, but usually they tease me and they'd say, well, you aren't smart enough to do that. You aren't good enough to do that. What the heck are you thinking? You can't do that. Well, what happened in my side hustle businesses, the same thing started coming in. You know, when I had to get uncomfortable or I had to do something I didn't want to do, all of a sudden I get this thought up here going, who the heck do you think you are? You're not good enough to do that. And to tell you the truth, thank goodness I had a coach because he called me on it. And we worked through it. And I can help you work through yours. But have you ever started something new and started thinking, oh, I don't know if I'm good enough to do this. Oh, I'm not techy enough. That imposter syndrome comes in. It's an unlimiting belief. We are amazing people. You have an amazing mind. You can accomplish anything you want. But you have to have a belief system. Now, as you're building a business, I want to talk to business people, coaches, course creators, or, and I should talk to everybody. But what it is, if you're online, one, you have to build a, your character. You have to show your values, honesty, integrity, whatever you want to call it. But people, you have to have a reputation to where people want to follow you, to where people believe in you. And it takes a while sometimes, but you got to be careful what you post on social media. But the biggest thing is you just got to be you and you got to build your character. So you show the true self coming through. And then people start following you and start believing in you and either want to be, if you're a coach, they start wanting to, to work with you. If you sell courses, they want to work with what you have because they believe you have the goods. Now, I want to get back to this confidence thing, this unlimiting belief. Is it unlimiting or limiting? It's where you don't believe in yourself. I want to share a trick with you. It's an NLP thing which means we're going to teach an anchor point. I want you to close your eyes. And I want you to think of a time when you're most successful. How it felt. Raise your hands when you're most powerful. Now, when you're thinking that thought, I want you to take your, if you're right-handed, use your left hand. If you're left-handed, use your right hand. But I want you to think that thought and rub the second knuckle, just tap it and get that feeling of how 
good you are, how powerful you are. Now, when those limiting beliefs come in, tap that knuckle. Bring it back to life. It works. Believe in yourself. You can accomplish anything you want because you were given an amazing gift. So, hey, if you want to follow me, I got a couple links down below, a couple free lead magnets, they call them, where you get some knowledge from me on how to build a course. You can set up a free call with me. I have a mastermind that works. But you all take care. You can accomplish anything you want. Talk again soon.